hi welcome back to my channel today I am stitching on the bird houses by Julie Heaton and it looks like I haven't made much progress since yesterday and well why is that well I decided to catch up on my blog Goodreads and Nat Galley. And the reason I decided to stop stitching yesterday, because I only got 89 stitches in, the reason I decided to stop stitching and to focus on those platforms, my blog, Goodreads, and NetGalley, is because we are ending the first quarter of this year as of tomorrow, the 31st. So with this uh, first quarter coming to a close, I like to do a quarterly post on my blog. I usually call it quarterly reads. And now that I'm posting regularly on this channel, I need to make a quarterly video. So if I wanted to do that, I had to cross post several reviews and write several reviews. So I was able to do that. I, in fact, I, um, as of this morning, I am at 49 blog posts for March and 34 Nat Galley reviews and, and about 32 Goodreads reviews. And those numbers are different because I wasn't consistently cross-posting. And so I backtracked. I, I, I printed up some pages. I don't know where they are. But I printed up pages like this and a couple of other pages like from spreadsheets that I have and I coordinated everything and I, I, I wrote cross post posted across the board and I am all caught up. Actually I am so caught up that the book I am reading now, uh, The Wedding Veil by Christy Woodson Harvey. Even, even that draft is already um, may, uh, has already been created, and all I have to do is write the review and and make the video. But I'm only forty percent in the book, so we're talking a few hours from now. So every few months, I say I'm gonna start writing my reviews as soon as I read the book. But every few months, I fall behind. Every few months but for the last two weeks or so on this YouTube channel I have been finishing a book and making a video now I even have maybe four or five videos that are made for this channel that won't even post until those books are published so if I can do that with consistency then I, I know that I can sit down and write with consistency now, in order to have that consistency that I'm desperate for, my mood has to be in a good place. And I will tell you that beyond fatigue, beyond having a raw throat, I guess I'm coming down with something. Um, my head's in a good head. I'm in a good head space. And as long as I'm in a good head space, I can definitely um, show consistency. So... Now that I'm all caught up on my blog, I can focus not only on my stitching, but I think I can finally get to my jigsaw puzzles because I've been talking about that for about a week or two. But I am a very compulsive, driven individual. And when something is hanging over my head, like knowing that I hadn't cross-posted several reviews and also had not written several reviews I can't shift my direction until I get that compulsive part of me satisfied and now that I've been able to sorry for the background noise now that I've been able to catch up I can start to enjoy some of my other hobbies and like I said um, those hobbies include my jigsaw puzzles. Um, I also, somebody wants me to work on that little room which is called Sam's Study, that miniature I have. And 
I couldn't I couldn't even think about my puzzles or that miniature I just have to check my floss I think I didn't pull my tail um, I can even uh, I couldn't I I can't divide my time when I know that I'm behind and so now that I've uh, caught up let's see what did I do wrong okay now that I've caught up I can start sharing my time across my different hobbies and I'm excited about that uh, what else is in mind so my next few videos will be I have to I made one video for the seven day video challenge already so I have to upload that and I can use a couple of the book review videos I'm just counting my stitches on pattern keeper that's why you don't see me stitching let me just mark them what I just did okay sorry I just I, I didn't I hadn't been marking it looks like that's three stitches okay so um, I think one of my videos for the seven day challenge will be my quarterly reads my quarterly wrap up uh, one of them like I said is already made and I've got a couple of scheduled book reviews so that was that's four so I've got to I might just use my whipping chats for my seven day challenge my stitch stitching chats um, maybe I'll diamond paint and uh, as a whipping chat I'm thinking out loud and I kind of think that's what I'm going to do move all my equipment over to the other side of the room and and do that yeah I might do that I just thought about that so I've got a lot I've got a lot that I want to do but I I did post on Facebook and a couple other places that because of my mental health challenges my reviewing had had been falling through the cracks and that was probably five days ago and I I can say with sheer satisfaction that I am caught up I am so caught up um, I mean I'm just so excited that I'm caught up and so now that I'm caught up I can only go forward I can't go backwards and so I want to be positive feel positive and enjoy reading to the point where reviewing isn't a burden I never want reviewing to be a burden because if I lose my joy of reviewing then the quality of my work will diminish and I, I don't want that to happen and it's hard to enjoy when you see a mountain of backlog that you've got to tackle and I somehow had the presence of mind yesterday to catch up and I'm just I'm really ecstatic about that I'm really ecstatic now stitching wise I will work on this birdhouse until this particular birdhouse is done and then I'm also going to work on bear tracks today by Carolyn Manning and then I had mentioned yesterday that I wanted to work on crossword and um, love of two hearts my other two long dog my two long dog samplers so after I work on this bear tracks in those two long dog samplers I'll do a floss tube video so that I will do probably tomorrow Thursday um, like I said I I think I will maybe not today but maybe tomorrow I will diamond paint and do a whipping chat instead of doing a stitching chat we'll see we will soon see there's a lot of noise I think my husband is sweeping or mopping because he's just moving around moving around now I I hear chairs in the kitchen being moved so I guess he's mopping <sighs> which means I don't have to do it wait a minute I have to my floss came out of my needle um, 
so I am just that's that's me it's a bright sunny day the the sunnier the weather is the better my mood is I you know I I will say that though I didn't get really bad winter blues this year I and I might not have got really bad winter blues this year because my life sucked and I was already depressed so there was no room for the winter blues I say that tongue-in-cheek though because I really didn't get the bad winter blues this year I, I just just been going through the motions and now I am on the mend and I I do want to say really quickly also that I appreciate those of you who are commenting on my videos you're buying books that I am reviewing you're buying cross stitch patterns that I am talking about I want to thank you for paying that much attention to what I'm doing uh, you're making recommendations uh, you guys are great so I, I want to thank you for that you, you, you're giving me the inspiration I need to keep going so thank you for for being here for watching me for listening to me for messaging me and for commenting in the comment section thank you for all of that so I I just want to I just I appreciate that and then we just have one more stitch in this little part right here. So I think we're going to make this a short stitch and chat video after I get this last stitch in. And then I am going to uh, upload this video. And then I think all I'm going to do is uh, put that, that book on that I said I was reading. Kristen Woodson, Christy Woodson Harvey's The Wedding Veil. Go ahead and uh, I think I'll go ahead and finish listening to that and stitch on my projects. And then tomorrow, tomorrow I think, why don't we say tomorrow I do a floss tube and I I feel like the stitch is in the wrong place. I, I have to pull this out. Yeah, I just made a boo-boo. It just, I knew that it didn't look right. Um, yeah, so I, I think, I think my goal will be a floss tube video sometime tomorrow. Not first thing, but sometime tomorrow. And I, I will maybe make a, you, uh, whipping chat video with my Chuck Pinson for the seven day challenge. Now, I will, I have to tell you that when I first put my square drills down yeah Tony's washing floors he keeps moving my kitchen furniture around um, um, I almost lost my thought um, it's hard for me to put my square drills down straight and so I end up using the straightening tool as I finish sections so when you see my whip and chat for my uh, diamond painting, just be gentle. Okay, let me check pattern keeper. Okay, so I got all the little, I'm working on the letter E, which is 760. So that's all done in that little section. And um, I think I'm going to probably secure my floss and start this over in another area. So for right now, I'll just pull my needle through so I don't lose it. So we're going to end this video. I want to thank you for watching and thank you for sharing in the glee that I have that I'm caught up. And again, thank you for uh, being in my comment section and watching my videos. I really appreciate everybody. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.